We've all had an attack of the forgetfulness, whether it's losing our car keys or forgetting where we parked the car. Don't panic, it's not because you're losing your mind. Catherine Lefevre, senior editor of LHJ.com, is here to explain why we forget certain things and how we can get our brains back and jumpstart our memory. Wow, we have all been there, haven't we, Catherine? <laughs> Let's talk first of all, why are we forgetting things? Is it just because we're getting older? You know, not necessarily. It can be much simpler than that. It could be too little sleep, a little bit of stress never helps. Um, and then a lot of times people just spend their day on autopilot. They do the same thing over and mm -hmm. over, so they're not really remembering the details of their day. Okay, so stress we know is a big one. Mm -hmm. What are some things we can do to just get that brain power back? Reduce our stress level, I'm assuming, is one. Reduce your stress always helps. Um, it's actually, the more you relax, the sharper your memory is. Oh. So it's okay to <laughs> just daydream for a little bit and say that you're doing it for your brain health. See, I like that. You know, you often get in trouble thinking I should be doing this or that, but you really need that you, for your you brain. Can just relax and let your brain calm down. Um, exercise is another great one. Studies show that you can cut your lifetime risk for dementia in half by doing some sort of physical activity because it uh, increases the blood flow to your brain and that can help with your ability to focus. Okay, so not only are you going to look good, but you're going to help your brain too. What about what we eat? Is that important too? Definitely. There are so-called superfoods for your mind health. So those are your omega-3 fatty acids like salmon and soybeans, antioxidants, which is really easy this time of year because berries are in season, oh. and then folic acid. So drink your OJ in the morning. Now, I like to do crossword puzzles occasionally. Of I know course, a lot of people yeah. do. I've heard that that's good for your brain. Is that enough? It's great for your brain, and I love to do it too. But just doing that every day isn't <laughs> really going to cut it. Um, you have to cross-train your brain in the same way that you would cross-train your muscles. So, so what does that mean exactly? You need to also be reading a book, doing things like that. Exactly. Too. So find things, A, that you like to do, because if you don't like it, you're not going to bother <laughs> right. with it. And B, that are also a little bit of a challenge. And it also helps that if things are social. So start a book club or challenge your kids to a Sudoku tournament. Anything that really mu uses that brain Uses your muscle. mind and okay. is also fun. Okay, so let's go through a few uh, situations that I'm sure a lot of us have been in and you can tell us how to, you know, get past that sticky situation. Great. First of all, if you're at a party, we've all been there where you're introduced to someone and then you forget their name literally two seconds later. What can we do? I hate that. It's so <laughs> embarrassing. Know. It's horrible. So a good trick that I like to use is to repeat their names three times to yourself silently. And then, as much as you can, try and use their name in conversation. Oh. And that way it'll stick. Because then you're going to remember. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what about, you know, you can't remember a short grocery list or if you're headed somewhere to an address unless mm -hmm. you write it down or put it in your phone. How well, you we think remember? about, like, of some number combinations that you have to remember, like your social security number or phone numbers. Those are stuck in your head no matter what. And that works because you're grouping things into little chunks. So take your grocery list and group it. Oh, so maybe do all the like things. items together. Sure. Or, like or you can make an acronym like bread, eggs, apple, tea <laughs> is beet. So I need to get beet today. And that's okay. all you need to remember. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, mm -hmm. so what about if your uh, husband calls or your daughter calls and says, you know, pick up some milk, pick up some bread on your way home, and you forget. <laughs> you know, yeah. get home without it and, and you're in you trouble. Show up, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, what I like to do is think of the place where you're going to need to remember that. So if you put the post-it note that says pick up milk on your bag, and then your bag is sitting next to you in your car, you're going to see it. So that way you'll remember to pick up the milk. Okay, so this is the big one because we've all <laughs> done this. I know you at home have done this. You come in the door, set your keys somewhere, and you forget where you put them. They're gone. Yep, I do that pretty much every day. <laughs> yeah, so what can we do? Um, it's silly, but you know what? It works. If you just say, I'm putting my keys on the table, then you hear yourself, and because you said it, you'll remember it. Okay, so keep it, you know, just say it out loud. That's easy yep. enough. Thank there you, you so much, Catherine. Thank For you. other tips on jump-starting your memory and getting your brain back, pick up Ladies Home Journal magazine, or you can go to LHJ.com.